Hi, I'm Joseph Gallo. I'm a professor at the School of Public Health at Johns Hopkins, and I'd like to tell you about our study, Long-Term Effect of Depression Care Management on Mortality in Older Adults, a study that was carried out with colleagues at the University of Pennsylvania, Cornell University, and the University of Pittsburgh. Our question was, does a depression care management program reduce mortality for depressed older adults in primary care? The summary answer is that a depression care manager working with primary care to provide algorithm-based care for depression can save lives. The context is that there have been many prospective studies that have looked at the relationship between depression and mortality, but they've been observational. There have not been any randomized trials that have reported whether treatment prolongs life. The setting was PROSPECT, carried out in 1999 to 2002 at 20 primary care practices. PROSPECT stands for the Prevention of Suicide in Primary Care Elderly Collaborative Trial. At 20 primary care sites in Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, and New York, practices were randomized either to an intervention consisting of an on-site depression care manager or usual care. The, the intervention consisted of guideline-based treatment with antidepressants and psychotherapy offered in primary care. The depression care manager supported the primary care doctor by helping to monitor the patient, consulted uh, with the psychiatrist, and followed through with the patient for a period of two years. Previously, Prospect has shown that the intervention is associated with increased rates of remission and reduced rates of relapse of major depression and reduce suicidal ideation. This report focuses on mortality after a median of eight years, two months follow-up. In this slide, we can see the mortality experience of patients with depression compared to patients with no depression from the same practices. And what we see is that in usual care, we see that depressed patients have about twice the risk of dying as patients without depression in the same practices, which is a finding that's been reported in many observational studies. However, on the intervention side, we can see that people with major depression have the same risk of death as persons without depression. We didn't see any similar effect for minor depression. When we look at the survival curves, we can see in usual care practices that persons with major depression have increased mortality throughout the length of the follow-up interval. In contrast, on the intervention side, we can see that the curves are very close together. We're also able to compare across the practices and we find that patients with major depression in intervention practices compared to patients in usual care were about 24 percent less likely to die over the course of the follow-up interval. For clinical interest, we also looked at cause of death. Among persons with major depression, there was increased risk only from cancer in the usual care practices. But we really stress that the numbers are very small, and this look at cause of death is preliminary, uh, and, and we have to be careful about the conclusions that we draw from it. Prospect has a number of design features that are, are advantages. One is there was randomization by practice. There was representativeness of the sample of older adults from primary care. And the clinical assessments used were valid and reliable measures of major and minor depression. 
We think the findings should be applicable to older patients in primary care, including patients with complex patterns of comorbidity. Our findings underscore the value of providing resources to primary care to integrate depression care management into practice. And the global challenge is to find ways that are acceptable to patients, clinically relevant, and economically sustainable. We gratefully acknowledge the support of the National Institute of Mental Health and the patients and practices that participated in Prospect. Thank you for your interest in our study. This is Joseph Gallo from Johns Hopkins University.